Hey, what's up, guys? This is Daniel back from Bar Shield. Just back with another Bar Tip Tuesday episode, episode 87, I believe. So um, we're going to talk about um, specifically chalk down that gets down into the sleeve. So really, not even just chalk. So you have chalk, you have grime, you have dust, and any kind of particles that you know get swept up into the sleeve, whether it accumulates from outside from having a garage door open or, or whatever. So. Um, you know, this is something that was brought to my attention from um, one of the head trainers down at CrossFit Grandview, um, down in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, they see a lot of use on their barbell fleet. So I'm talking like they have like over 500 members. So they have several nine bar holders that are filled with bars. Um, so there's a lot of people going in and out of the gym, stuff coming in with their, you know, from their shoes or again, from like a garage door from the outside. So specifically about chalk, um, so a quick example would be, you know, grabbing out, if somebody has longer arms, uh, if they're grabbing uh, out here on a snatch grip, uh, so whether they're all the way out to the collar or if they're at the knurling mark, whatever it is. So what tends to kind of happen over time, which just unfortunately kind of happens as you keep chalking um, where you snatch, where you grip your snatch, and then you start sweating or the bar stays, you know, moist from the humidity uh, or you, you know, you're not keeping your bars dry, stuff like that. That chalk will kind of start to make its way towards the, the sleeve. Um, so down to the, where the, uh, whether it's bearing or bushing down the sleeve here. So it starts to get a little sticky. This one, this bar itself is one of Rogue's uh, bearing bars. It's an Olympic barbell. Um, so you're not going to see it as much. It's not going to be as obvious on, on a bearing bar. However, it does happen for sure. Um, it'll be more evident like on, you know, a lot of the uh, the bushing bars. So a lot of the multi-purpose bars you'll see, even if they're not even that old. Um, so I'm talking like less than a year, you'll start to see these start to, you'll start to get, you know, maybe two, you know, complete spins around here, or you might even get just one turn. And then eventually you'll start to get half and then a quarter so um, easy way to you know quick fix is to grab yourself you know in our kit itself it comes with a stiff nylon bristle brush so just getting that out of the knurling so if you do a little circular strokes or back and forth um, after every use so especially if you have chalk in the knurling just to prevent that from coming down um, and then, uh, you know, periodically, you know, two to three times a month, depending on your climate, you definitely want to lubricate um, your bar. So whether, uh, I mean, with our bar seal formula, you know, it's food grade, biodegradable, and it doesn't leave a lot of oily residue, even after wiping off. Um, so it's workout ready right away, so you can use it. Um, so it's a great habit to, you know, to maintain in the gym, especially, you know, or if you're an owner, if you have, you know, a couple coaches that keep up on it, or even if you, make your you know members or whoever's using the bar at least responsible for you know getting that chalk out of the bar because what happens um, is you'll start to see the sleeves start to stick and then you start to have a couple you know issues you know with the Olympic lift specific, specific specifically so you'll see you'll have to you know overcompensate you have to over pull um, you know you can develop you know a wrist issue especially if you catch a clean kind of on your chest or on, you have the unfortunate accident of hitting your thigh or uh, knee you do not want that to happen as a result from the bar not spinning correctly so make sure that you're um, you know keeping up on your sleeves it's an easy fix we've done several episodes before um, so you know typically you're going to set it up vertically in a plate or a nine bar holder and then you want to put a few drops down into the sleeve let it diffuse down into the sleeve lubricate the bearings or bushings Again, bushings will require more maintenance than bearings. Um, let it sit for at least 10, you know 15 minutes or so, and then just flip it over, do the other side, and you're good to go. So you can do multiple bars at a time. It's not a big deal. So if you have any questions, hit us up, and we'll see you next week.